Man, that's what you look like on the inside? You really let yourself go. You want a burger? doing a Chinese leaker has taken apart the Nintendo switch and it looks like microchips and processors and knickknacks but probably the most significant discovery is there's a Tegra X1 underneath the hood this officially confirms that the switch is in fact being powered by a Tegra X1 as opposed to an X2, the Maxwell as opposed to the Pascal. At the end of the day, do I care? Go ahead, ask me. Do I care? No, I don't care. We're getting the best looking Zelda game ever. We're about to get the best looking Mario game ever. Splatoon 2 is hype. Arms looks good, and so as long as the games look good, I don't care if they opened up the Switch and saw it was being powered by two unicorns and pixie dust. And for real, I wouldn't care. I was already told it was a Tegra X1 and this falls in line with Digital Foundry's report months ago. The primary reason why Nintendo's going with the Tegra X1, it saves production costs and makes the system more affordable for us. The consumers, that's what it's all about. The people. The people. What's really important is this Tegra X1 and NVIDIA's architecture is making the Switch easy to develop for third-party developers. And that's what the Switch needs. More and more devs are saying that the system is easy to develop for. As long as the system sells well, it should get that support from EA, UBI Soft, rest in peace, Iwata-san. Activision and the rest of the homies, so dudes, what are your thoughts on the Nintendo Switch being dissected, picked apart? We can see its exoskeleton like an ant. For real, ants. Are you on some anatomy? The skeleton of an ant is on its outside. Knowledge. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date on things, men, ten, do. play some Zelda? You know you want to play that Zelda. I can see it in your eyes.